Joining us live via Skype to speak on how the lockdown has affected the Easter celebration is Plus TV Africa Virichinda, uh, who is in the Church of Ascension Anglican Communion Baduri in Lagos. Mary, can you hear me? Good morning. Hi, Amaka. Good morning. I can hear you. How are you today? I'm good. Happy Good Friday, I should say. Happy Good Friday. Now, Mary, you are in the Church of Ascension. What is the situation over there? Ah, well, it's an empty church today, um, being Good Friday. Um, a, a total shadow of what it should be if um, the COVID-19 lockdown were not going on. This is one Friday that is about the most symbolic Friday in the whole of the Christian race um, because it's the day that Christians get to celebrate the death of Jesus Christ who is their savior and um, Christians usually would come to churches to you know take the communion or one hour two hour service just to celebrate that Jesus Christ was was crucified today and will be resurrected on Sunday um, that's straight away from today but as you can see the church is entirely empty there is no one here except for just uh, the security yes, people who were able to let me um, do this interview just right here mm -hmm. So apart from the security personnel, uh, there's no, uh, you're not able to speak to any pastor or any church person. There's literally no arrangement. Um, there's literally no arrangement for a service to go on here for, or for even the, the communion um, to be taken here. Um, while I've, I've been standing here for about 30 minutes and I was just able to get to see one church official, one clergyman, you know, drive in, in a very, um, with his mood all dropping and um, in a very solemn mood as well. Um, but I can categorically say that there is no arrangement whatsoever for the communion to be served here or for a service to be holding here. It's generally an emotional day for Christians um, all over the world. And uh, at this church, the Church of Ascension, it's actually not different. Christians are wishing to be in service, you know, to be in fellowship with one another on a very significant day like this. I can just see a few persons just strolling, um, basically children and I think staff of, uh, of the church. Mm -hmm. Mary, do you get the feel that Christians are still, you know, sharing in the hope of this season in spite of the situation that we are in? Can you take that again? I said, do you, do you get a feeling that Christians are sharing in the hope uh, of this season, the hope that this season brings, rather, in spite of the situation around it, in spite of COVID-19? Yes, I, I think that COVID, the COVID-19 lockdown falling on an Easter season is very reassuring for Christians, even though it's also an emotional time because they're not able to celebrate um, the Easter service as, as they would uh, or as they have been over the years. This COVID-19 lockdown maybe would I say couldn't have happened at a better time because of the hope that the death and the crucif crucifixion of Jesus Christ means what it means to Christians so yes um, Christians are being hopeful because they the the good news that look Jesus has died Jesus is resurrecting and then we are covered mm -hmm. we are covered thank you very much Mary Chinda and please do keep safe where you are thank you so much Amaka